fellow artists and creators. Today we are going to be learning how to paint fish net leggings. I'm going to give you three different techniques. Recently I had worked on a 2D VTuber model and I had to draw fish net leggings and I was like, how? <laughs> how do I make this look good? How do I how do I do this? So I found three different techniques that I'm going to share with you today so you can use any of those anytime you are going to put fish net leggings on your character. Let's get started. Whoa, my hair changed just like that. Wow, it's almost like I'm a virtual character that can just like snap my fingers and, and look different. It's pretty cool. <laughs> First, I'm going to show you guys the simplest way. So these are what our fishnet leggings look like. Please keep in mind that there are many, many different kinds of fishnet leggings that you could draw. So my first reference or recommendation is going to be collect some reference photos to see what kind of fishnet leggings you want to draw on your character. And this might take some trial and error. You might need to try a few different kinds before you really find the ones that fit the character you're working on. There they are. So what I ended up going with is this first technique I'm going to show you here, but I'm going to show you guys a few other ones because depending on your situation, it might really help. So this first one I'm going to do is hand drawn. Now hand drawn, doing hand drawn is going to be a little bit difficult if you have wobbly lines, but you see right now I'm using my mouse. I'm not actually using my tablet, but you see how I'm drawing across on this lines a lot smoother. You see how it's kind of trailing smoothly. So there is a program that I like to use called Lazy Nizumi Pro. You can get a free trial. I have the bot version version now. Lots of people use it in studios. I've heard it's very, very popular. Be used in the industry because it helps stabilize your lines. Now I will give you a quick demo on how to set up Lazy Nizumi Pro so you can download this program and I will leave that link down below. Once you get it up and running, you can click hook window. This will work for any art program you have as long as it's in a window. So I will hold and click in this window and usually there'll be like a blinking red box go around but it should link up and once that happens you could choose in here what you want to do there's many different options in here but for this tutorial i'll be showing you smoothing massive so i use smoothing massive when i need to get really really nice clean lines this could be really great for line art as well so this is what i like to use if i'm doing any type of hand-drawn technique like this with my line art and i will give you guys a very quick example of how to do the hand-drawn fishnet leggings like we have here with lazy nizumi Pro. So now she has no fishnet leggings on. I'm going to pull up a reference photo. I'm going to use my Pure Ref here. This is a program that lays on top of your windows to be able to hold reference photos. I'll drop a link for that down below as well if you're interested in it. So these are the leggings I have. It's literally just going to be sort of these diamond shapes. So what I'm going to do is just keep going across. Try to eyeball this. This is mostly going to be eyeballing where you're really just going across and trying to even out the spaces. Now something very important to keep in mind here is that you are wrapping these lines around a cylinder, right? Your leg for the art fundamentals, your leg is a cylinder shape, which means it's like a soup can. It wraps around. So we don't want to be drawing straight across like this. See the difference here? If we just go like this, this is not a flat image. Now as artists, our job is to sell the fact that is an illusion. So see the difference here? If we just do fishnet leggings like this, we could work, but it's not really going to sell the illusion as much as wrapping around our 3D, a 3D surface like this is. So again, you see the difference here. This is very important to keep in mind when you are wrapping clothing in any capacity, not just fishnet leggings. But you see again how much better this looks over here. So we're going to give this a big ol' big ol' check mark, and then we're going to give this a big ol' X. We do not want that here. Anyways, you see how smooth we get there. I'm not going to go super into detail because we got to move on to our next one here. Well, hopefully that'll start to give you a good idea of the first way that you can draw fishnet leggings. Okay, so next we're going to do a little bit of a more technical approach. This might work for some of you as well. So what we're going to do for this one is we're going to go down to our line tool. It's going to start as the rectangle. You're going to click and hold and then go down to this line tool here. I'm going to start from the top of my thigh and I'm going to drag hold shift to lock it in so it can't move. It will only move it like 45 degree angles because we want it to be straight here. So we're just going to go like to the bottom of the leg there. And then over here we'll have this window called properties. If you don't have it up, you can go to window and Photoshop and go to properties there. So next what we're going to do is change the straight broke to uh, black and then we're going to select this line here and you can change the pixel size here. I'm just going to do three. Again, this is going to depend on how thick you want it to look. So I'm just going to zoom in here so we can see what that looks like. Great. Now what we're going to do is we're going to space these out a bit. I'm going to hold down my alt key on my keyboard and click shift and I'm going to go about 60 pixels apart. So you can see how it's calculating our pixels right there. If it keeps snapping, if it goes like 60, 65, that means you're zoomed too far out. Make sure you zoom in and it'll give you that more like that more pick on a pixel base level 
actual uh, measurement. So again, we're just gonna bring this out. We're gonna go to 60 and we're just gonna do a few of these. Okay, great. So we have a good amount here. These are all called line tool in our layers now. So let me pull this up a bit. We're just gonna close the properties panel for now so I can show you more. So we have these lines here. We're going to select these guys and move them over here. Uh, this is a little too small, so as you can see, I was going to need more, but I'll just show you guys with this. And now something we're going to do, I'm going to click Control G to group everything here. And something I'm going to do next is actually I'm going to move it back out for a second. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and Alt, hold down Alt, and just make a copy of all these guys. And then we're going to turn this about 45 degrees. Um, so I'm going to Command E, which is going to combine all these on one layer that just combined all those layers together. Control T, I'm clicking to be able to select my lines. And I want this to be in a 45 degree angle or maybe a 90 degree angle. So we're going to go up to that angle and do 90. So we're going to use the math here to our advantage and not just like be guessing. So we can do this. And what I'm going to do is click enter there and we're going to have to probably rasterize these. So I'm going to right click and rasterize this layer so I can get rid of all these extra lines over here. So I'm just going to make my brush bigger. I'm going to hold shift down and this is going to allow it to sort of like erase in a straight line. So I might need to be like out a little bit more Keep erasing. There we go. So that looks good. And now we're going to erase the rest of these lines here. I'm just going to get rid of this. You could also lasso tool and then delete that but we're gonna do that first so now that we can just copy this so again I'm holding alt on my keyboard shift to move this down we're gonna go here I'm just eyeballing that right now I'm gonna hold alt shift so we're just making copies we're making copies here until we get the full the full row going so we're just gonna keep doing that alt shift bring it down Alt shift. Awesome. So now we have a full sort of grid here and you can use this grid for whatever else you may keep in mind. I'm just going to command E a bunch of times to merge these. I'm just merging them down. You can see how it's getting bigger so I can have them all in the same layer. Okay, great. And I'm also going to collect all just all of those. Control E, merge them. I'm going to collect these two layers. Control E, merge them. Again, this is just so it's all on one layer. So everything's not all over the place. Now I'm just going to make this a little bit bigger uh, and like stick with, sort of with this. We're going to go like this. All right, so then next we're going to go to edit to transform warp. So this is gonna allow us to be able to get more of that look I was talking about with our first technique where it is a little bit more involved with wrapping around the actual calf instead of just being straight on top like a 2D image. So see how we can use our warp tool here to be able to start getting this to look like it's wrapping around the calf. This is this is a little finicky. I don't know that much about the warp tool. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. That's why I ended up not going with, tech, with this technique, but this still might be useful to some of y'all who kind of understand like how the warp tool works. So it depends on your skill sets but there's a lot of different stuff you can do with the warp tool as well um but i'm not gonna this is not a tutorial about the warp tool so we're just gonna end it here this looks okay i still think i still preferred the hand drawn because again i don't know the warp tool that well but if i took more time to get to know that probably would be a lot better so then we just go ahead and we erase pretty much like all of the extra stuff that we had going on there you can erase maybe here and again this is gonna like depend on what you're doing but here's there's another technique then where we can again just just clean all that up with our eraser tool and then we have that and then again we can go ahead and copy and paste this and then flip it if we need to to bring onto the other leg so there's another way that you can do fishnets and then i'll show you guys one more way that we can do fishnet leggings we have a, another way to do fishnet legging pattern so basically what i'm doing is i'm just looking up fishnet legging pattern so you can go ahead and save whatever one you might want that one has like a little chr chromatic aberration to it i'm just gonna save this guy right here and we're gonna click save and we're just gonna do desktop okay Okay, show and folder this stuff to the side. We're gonna drop this in here. So here we go, if we turn this to linear burn, it actually turns off all that extra white layer, which is great to know. I totally just learned that right now. Sometimes this is like half the battle when it comes to uh, learning new techniques and ways to do things. And then again, we can go to the transform, we can go to the warp tool and we could start warping this to fit around our thigh. You might have to break this into multiple pieces. I probably could have made that like a little bit smaller, but this is gonna give us, this, this is looking like super, super clean too. So here's another Another really great way you can do it again that's like pretty intensive and then you might need to like do some matchy match here <laughs> like kind of go to our transform warp tool maybe match those up a bit again you might need to make it bigger I don't know I've never done this way before but it was just like one of the few ways I was like oh yeah that's like another way I guess that you could approach the the whole fishnet thing but then you're gonna have this issue right there so you might need to make it bigger but see again how clean that is as well so I think my favorite techniques is number technique number one and technique number 
too because those seem to be the cleanest. The other way is is a way that you can use, <laughs> but this looks super clean too. And then again, we can just edit, transform, flip horizontal, and then have that mimic over here. I am so glad I found these three different ways to make fishnet leggings because now we have all the tools we need to create really cool looking fishnet leggings. But hey, if you're like, bro, okay, Sapphire, I, I got the fishnet leggings down, but that I just, uh, character design is just so difficult and now I want to redesign my whole character. We've all been there. It's okay. Consider checking out my how to design characters tutorial series. I'm going to leave that right there for you so you can get started on that right now. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Hey, gems. I'll see you next time on the Sapphire Star. Bye!